What comes to mind when you think of Dr. Heather Ross? Special person. Outstanding. Larger than life. A little dynamo. Pure tenacity. It's a fantastic doctor. She fights for her patients. She's there for you. She strives for perfection. This is a get things done person. It's a complete professional. She's one of a kind. Heather's a leader. There's no off switch to Heather. I don't know if I'm allowed to say this on camera, but she's a badass. She's so cool. <laughs> Is that allowed? <laughs> From the time I can remember, she was a very determined young lady. She just seems to know what she wants to do, and it happens. I guess Heather was probably about eight or nine years old. We were at the vets with the dog, and the secretary was so nice to Heather and arranged that she could go in with the dog to see the doctor. We're walking home, and she says, that's what I'm going to be. And I said, wasn't she nice? She says, not her, the doctor. The secret is, with Heather, every door that's open, she's walked through it. Dr. Ross is known as the heart failure doctor. Hey, Corey. Good, how you doing? She's the best cardiologist I've ever worked with. A recognized world expert on end-stage heart disease. At the top of her field. Right, and actually changing the journey from patient to recipient because you're going... She is absolutely famous for her bedside manner, her concern for patient welfare. She's extremely dedicated and seems to work 24 hours a day. She's very compassionate, she's very caring. Hi, I'm Heather Ross. Their life is in her hands. She knows that, they know that. She is the heart doctor, but she looks after the whole patient. All right, I'll see you in a month. God okay, bless. take care. The first time I met her, I was 18, and I was really, really sick. I was in stage four heart failure. I had four children that were teenagers, and it was um, a very difficult time for my wife and I. And uh, we really didn't know what to tell my kids. I had dropped out of university. I was a professional firefighter in Thunder Bay. No one had said to me, here are your chances of dying. I thought that my life as a firefighter would be over. I was only 48. I just wanted to be 18 at the time. Dr. Ross came in and told me that I would need a transplant. She pulled a chair up in front of me and looked me in the eyes and told me that I might die within a year if I didn't get a heart transplant. You know, it's so shocking um, to be told that. And I cried the first time I met her. <laughs> and I can laugh at that now. She was so honest about it and straightforward, and that meant a lot to me. Now I'm very grateful because I think it was the first time that someone was speaking to me. My defining memory of Heather Ross really is when she was speaking to my children. And she came in on a Saturday and was able to talk to them and explain the situation and in such a way that they realized how serious it was but that it was hopeful, and that meant a lot to us. It's been amazing after transplant. I was able to get my strength back, get fit again. It was like the best thing that's ever happened to me. And I returned and was a firefighter for another 10 plus years after my transplant. I was able to climb stairs, I was able to ride a bike, I was able to concentrate long enough to graduate school finally. Well, it means everything to me. It allowed me to continue my life, finish raising my children, and just go back to a normal life. I went on to go traveling. I finally moved out of my parents' house. I'm independent now. She certainly um, saved me. She's like one of my heroes. She's saved my life numerous times. There's a million Canadians that have heart failure. 
and this is an epidemic. You're dealing in life and death circumstances every day, all the time. The average survival for somebody with a diagnosis of heart failure is worse than most cancers. It's actually 2.1 years. So this is a very, very big problem, and you need people like Heather. Clearly she's a leader within the Pinamont Cardiac Center. Heather is the lead of the Ted Rogers Center for Heart Research. She's one of their stars. We're trying to do things through the Ted Rogers Center for Heart Research and the Peter Monk Cardiac Center that will truly be revolutionary. She's a shining beacon of the PMCC's program in advanced heart failure throughout the world. And some of the initiatives she's done, whether it's in clinical trials research, whether it's in ethics, whether it's in end of life care, I think really have made a mark around the world. She's very innovative in the area of remote monitoring, artificial intelligence. She's the best in the heart research field. I think she's a natural teacher. She loves it. In addition to all the other things that she's doing, she still has the time to be unhurried and highly effective in teaching trainees and medical students. She is a huge advocate for women in medicine. It was an attempt to stop her pregnancy. And really has a strong connection to mentoring and helping women in this field. Going to these exotic places with extreme conditions is certainly a good test for my uh, transplanted heart. She told me that she was planning a trip to climb the Vincent Massif in Antarctica, and she wanted A, me to participate, and B, to fund it. And uh, it was <laughs> irresistible on both fronts. Everything has to be all or nothing. Everything is sort of extreme with Heather. They certainly would test anybody's limits. She keeps pushing those limits. The danger doesn't diminish, but the excitement doesn't diminish either. We experienced everything from extreme temperatures to illness to long periods of isolation. In fact, Heather did have an event where she pushed herself, uh, where she got mountain sickness and was quite sick in Antarctica. Dr. Ross, I started experiencing the effects of the altitude and started having some pulmonary edema. Where you have tremendous difficulty with breathing at altitude, and that can be a life-threatening situation. And so we had to get her off the mountain. I was able to help her carry her equipment down the mountain. It was scary there for a while. It definitely was a role reversal. And um, it's not often that a patient gets to assist a doctor at anything. It's an opportunity for payback, really, for everything that Dr. Ross has done for me in the last 18 years. She really does care above and beyond. Heather, keep doing what you're doing, because you do it the right way. It's been a great privilege and honor to work beside you, and uh, I look forward to many more years together. Heather, keep it up. So far, so good. More to come. I would like Heather to know how grateful I am to have had her by my side the whole time. It's really a pleasure knowing you, Heather. It's amazing to work with you. I'm so lucky to have Dr. Ross as a doctor, and I, I think as a friend. Ted wanted to know how much he appreciated what she did. I love her. I just love her. She's an amazing human being. You're bringing an awful lot of 
honor and value to Canadian medicine. She's a badass. <laughs>